This is Randy Thompson. I'm coming to you live with Susan Faulkner Evans and Bo. We're two weeks now before the regional championships and uh, where they've qualified for first and second levels. So what we're doing is we're really focusing this, these last couple weeks on getting him more connected. And before that we did the series going back to the basics where we took them way back to the basics, all of Susan's horses. Good, now get them under your seat more. Every time you rise, put them under your seat. Start with your leg, get him under your seat first with your leg, and then, that's right, when you feel his nose doing that, pick up your rein and ask him to do a mini stretch. Because you're going to put him under your seat from the front and the back now. That's right. You know, at first we were just working on getting activity, but now we want to be able to contain the activity. And Bo is really thrilled with this. Good. That's it, keep them under your seat. Take a hold of your outside rein to keep them on the inside hind. Now start adding curves to this. That's it, that, drive him forward more when you feel that. That's where he doesn't want to stay under with his front end. So you've got to supple the reins. When you start doing something sideways and he locks up on his neck, play with it. That's it, get him to stretch more, play. Play with the rein. Insist that he gives you his head. That's right, play with the rein. Put his nose where you need it to be. Yep, put his nose where it needs to be, straight up from the front of the saddle. That's right, so look down to make sure his shoulders forward and straight in line with that mane. Good. That's it, drive him up. Good, drive him up more. That's right, you're going to get a little like pushing him forward more than he's used to right now. But that's exactly what he needs. Good, so supple him. You can feel him when he starts getting a little tight in the bridle. That's when you might be holding the rein a quarter of a second too long. So add, play with the rein, add a little leg on the side of the rein you use, and see if you can get him to give you a little stretch. Yep, that's it, ask him for stretch. That's it, that's it, that's it. Now you're adding, putting him under your seat from the front as well as the back. Okay, get him from behind, and then connect him from the front. Slow down the front end until you feel his shoulders raise. And then you add the back end to that. Slow down the front end until his shoulders raise. Add the back end to that. Good, good. Play with it. Play with him. If his nose is going all over the place, it's because your hands aren't telling him where to keep it. Good. That's it. And you're just creating a light frame with your rein. That's nice, Susan. That's it. Yep. Keep his shoulders up. Slow down the front end until his shoulders rise. And then get him to step up more. You can feel he gets a little short stepping as you start that. Good, I like how you handled that. You got him stretching towards the end. Good, Susan. Did you feel the leg yield change? Yep, good, get him under your seat from behind and then in front. And you'll know it's in front when he lifts up his shoulders. Get him to step up until he lifts up his shoulders. Play with the reins a lot on the leg yield, especially the right. Good, good, tap him, tap him, tap him. That's right, tap, 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 tap. Good boy. That's right, that's you. Good, good. Get his shoulders up and get his back end to step into the connection now. That's it. Good, Susan. That's it. Play with your reins. If he leans on them, it's because you might be holding them a second too long. Good. Praise him a lot. This is new for him. <coughs> good. Get his shoulder up a little bit. Get his back end to step under it. Good, play with the inside rein, supple him with your inside rein and leg. Play with that inside rein and leg. That's it, drive him up into it. Think three seconds to get him up there. And then praise him a lot. Good, yes, how does that feel? Good, oh, that's where you dropped him on the outside rein. Hold the outside elbow back, get him to step up into it so he lifts his outside shoulder. That's right, get him to step up so he lifts up his outside shoulder. Good, lift it up, yep, pull the outside rein, get him to step up so he picks it up. Good, you feel that? Okay, now get him to pick up his left shoulder. Hold your outside elbow back, get him to step into it, stretch him on the inside rein. Yep, more suppling on your inside rein. Good, because we're really adding what you can do with the bridle now. Good, supple, 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 touch him with the whip lightly. Supple and touch, supple and touch. Good, praise him. Good, get the outside shoulder up, stretch a little on the inside rein. That's it, good, you felt where he, did, he disconnected from you. Good, that's it, 
So get him up first from the back end to where he lifts his shoulder. Praise him when he does it. Good, good. He's going to be a little surprised because we've been doing a following rain. Good. Shoulder in. That's right. Get him on the outside. Lift up the outside shoulder. Remember, bring the shoulder in. That's it. Bring the shoulder in. Good girl. Bring the shoulder in. He needs to stretch on the left rein. Praise him. Good. Take your time when you switch. Hold that outside elbow back for the Ronverse. Yep, that's where you have to play more with your outside rein. Good. Get him to step up. Good. Shoulder in. Pick up his outside shoulder. Yep. Our Ronverse. This is Ronverse. Good, good. That's where your outside, your left rein is too long. So you've got to hold his nose where you want it with your outside rein. Good. That's it. Drive him forward. Praise him. This is, yep, he's feeling something different. We've been riding him on a following rein now for a long time, especially the last eight weeks when we were going back to the basics. So now we're picking up the connection, which Bo has never been really thrilled about. And we're asking him to step into it. Good, good, good. Keep his neck supple, 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 looser, looser, looser. Good, good. Praise him a lot. Praise him a lot. Feel the steps change. Good, Susan. That's it. Come across the diagonal in a medium. Keep the rhythm. Keep the rhythm. Don't let him run with you. Don't let him run with you. Keep him up there. Keep his shoulders up. Keep his shoulders up. You're going to do collect it around the corner and then into a lengthening. Bring your shoulder way over so his shoulder's up. That's it. Before you're lengthening, think one step shoulder in. Good. Slower. Slower. Keep his nose, his shoulders up. Good, good. Keep his shoulders up. More leg, more leg. You feel he gets a little stuck there? That's when you touch him with your stick. You just tap, tap, tap real lightly. Okay, more gas, especially the first steps. Good, right there. Okay, now keep his neck round. Good, good positioning. Keep position to the right. Much straighter. Good, Susan. <coughs> Had a little chest cold this last week, excuse me. Good, good. That's it. More energy. Every time you feel him get locked up on the bridle, he needs more from behind. Okay, now watch what he does with his head position here. This is where you'll have to really feel what you're doing with your hand. Good, good. Good boy. That Oh, you're really riding that front end straight now, Susan. Nice change. Good, good. Now get ready if you're going to do the Ronverse. You, there you are. Oh, sorry. I just saw you switch over. There you go. Your outside rein is too long. Sounds so easy when we're on the ground. That's it. Good. Take your time. Okay, now everything's in preparation for the next one. Good. Take your time. If he's leaning on you, bump him up with your leg, and you might have to pick the rein up and let it go. So if he leans, you've got to get him to stop leaning. And it might come from your hands. If he's leaning, you might have to give, you might have to take. He is no longer allowed to lean on you. Good. If you, yep, if you feel him leaning, do something different with your hands. Praise him. <coughs> Excuse me. Good. That's it. Tap him up. More energy. Good. That's it. More energy. What, what size trot circles do you have to do? Ten. Ten? Okay. So remember when, you try, when you're doing your circles, bring a shoulder over so the outside shoulder stays up. Point the front of the saddle to the inside. Needs, oh, that's actually, he's tracking up. This would be his working trot, medium trot. Good, good. Get him to step up more. Keep the shoulder up. Outside rein, half halt. Half halt. Half halt. Half halt. Yes, yes, yes. You feel how that changes his balance? Good. So think, add half halt. Outside rein and leg. Yep, shift him to the inside hind. That's it. Good. Praise him. Good. Half halt to the inside hind. Good. And then send him forward. Half halt. Send him forward. Praise him. Good, Susan. Half halt. Send him forward. Praise him. Half halt on the outside. Send him forward. Praise him. Good, Susan. Woohoo! How's that feeling? I can post this. So. Oh, good. Good. 
Oh yeah, post, yep, that's where his outside shoulder needed to be brought over sooner. You might have to shorten your rein. Good, just play with it. Good. Now add that feeling to your lateral work. Good, Susan. So in first level, he has to do leg heels. I think three trots, three canters. And in second level, he has to go into the shoulder and around this. Good, keep the energy from behind. Yep, feel like you did. Feel like you did when you were doing those smaller circles. Is he on the outside rein? Yep, so get a little more demanding on your outside rein. That's it, show him where you want to be. Half halt to the inside hind from the outside rein. There, feel that trot? Go from this into a shoulder end, seeing if you can keep this feeling. That's it, keep that feeling. Good, good, feel the difference? Yep, that's where he loses his nose a little. Good, that was good. Good boy, Bo. I know it's hard work.